Hey everyone, this is Bad But Sweaty, and in this video, I will be breaking down everything that's coming in Season 15 of Vigor. Without any delay, let's begin. Season 15's release is coming with a new map in the form of Myron, which has been adapted from a shootout map into an encounter map. This map is similar in size to Battery Draw and Snow Decked. Around the edges of the map are several military installations, such as camps, machine gun emplacements, and anti-air cannons. The center of the map is made up of a few civilian buildings that were the focus of a large skirmish between NATO and Russia before the nukes were dropped. When running through the map, you must be careful of minefields. They are marked with a sign that has a skull and crossbones on it. If you stumble into a mine, it will blow up and deal an amount of damage comparable to a contact bomb. If you spot them beforehand, you can shoot the mines to disable them. There are also trenches and bunkers dug throughout the map. Chris made a video walking through the map so I recommend you check that out if you want a more in-depth look at the map. As always, with the new season will come a new battle pass, but I already made a video on that, so I'm not going to cover it here. I will, however, talk about the new seasonal challenges coming this season. Looking through the challenges, there seems to be some returning challenges with a couple new ones sprinkled in there and, of course, a new reward for completing them all. Next, I want to talk about the new gun coming with Season 15, the L96 Bolt Action Sniper Rifle. It will be Special Issue Rarity, hold a maximum of 5 rounds, take 762 by 51 NATO, which is the same ammo that the G3 takes, have the same scope as the M21, shoot at a rate of 180 rounds per minute, can stun, and is hyper accurate even in third person. The airdrop rarity system in Encounters is also getting tweaked. It will now always start at uncommon rarity. This is something that the community has been asking for for quite a while, and hopefully this makes the airdrop more worth the risk it takes to grab in encounters. Last but not least, we have several changes to go over in the shelter. The first of which being, the organization of weapons in the equip tab of the shelter has been changed to be identical to the shop, making it far less time consuming to find the weapon you're looking for. The next change can also be found in the Weapons tab. The Effective Range stat on all weapons has been removed in favor of a Muzzle Velocity stat, a very welcome change for most players. Next, if your boxes of herbs, rat traps, or other resource generators are full when you enter the shelter, the game will tell you by having a little pop-up appear on the left side of your screen. And lastly, there is a new shelter upgrade animation for when you reach a new shelter level. Thank you to Smokey Dopey for providing the clip you're seeing here. This is a pretty packed season in terms of content and quality of life changes. Now, if we could only convince the devs that sitting and crafting each consumable individually is not fun in the slightest, we would be set. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. This has been Bad But Sweaty from the Christopher Beast channel. Have a nice day.